You wake up, check your Gmail, and the surveillance begins. Not only does Google know you're awake, so does your carrier. The change in strength between different Wi-Fi hotspots means you've moved into the kitchen to make coffee, and that's not all. And even your smart meter electricity company knows how many cups of coffee it is that you're making. Andreas Weigen is the former chief data scientist for Amazon and the author of Data for the People. He says online tracking methods are crossing over to your brick and mortar life. It doesn't matter if you're buying food, clothing, or electronics, retailers are tracking your every move. Here's what you know, what you don't know, and what's coming next. If you have a customer card or you punch in a cell phone at the checkout, and then they know you love juice, so you might get a coupon for juice, but how does it really work? I spoke with Katie Arrington from Fry's, a chain owned by Kroger, about what you know that's happening now. We're looking for personalized shopping habits. Their most purchased items, are you spending your fuel points, are you redeeming offers? Are you even looking at our coupons online? Are you picking up offers off of our Facebook? Okay, so you know all that, but stores are collecting information about you in ways you might not know. Here's what you don't know that's happening now. Are you aware that when you signed up for that free Wi-Fi at the store, that what they're using it for is to track your movements? Retailer American Apparel put radio frequency emitters on all its clothes, and Macy's is set to follow suit. These emitters give retailers lots of information. They know which aisles you pass through, where you linger. They even know what items you pick up and for how long. Many people go for that item, try it on, but for some reason nobody buys it. That means it's just a bad fit, and the company can make decisions based on that. Also in stores, products embedded with Bluetooth emitters. These Bluetooth devices are amazing. They just transmit, this is me, this is me, this is me. So when a customer moves around a store, his geolocation gets updated. But if you think that sounds big brothery, wait till you meet big brothers even bigger brother. Here's what's coming, starting with digital pricing displays that the Kroger company is already piloting in the Midwest. If you're walking through here with your phone, you've got your Fry's app, you've got your Bluetooth on, and the prices will change because maybe you really love this cereal, so the price will be a coupon specifically for you. And soon your phone won't just recognize your face, it will recognize your emotions. The phone knows whether you're happy about something or whether you're thinking about something or whether you're just not interested about something. And if you think you can opt out? If opting out of being recognized, if you mean that seriously, then I can only wish you good luck. So here's looking at you on the top of the list.